Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Bahar and in today's video I'm going to show you how to paint balsa wood. I'll walk you through the entire process from preparing your balsa wood and applying primer to exploring different paints and stain you can use. Finally, we'll seal it at the end. These tips and techniques are applicable to all your balsa wood projects. I don't typically create talking videos, so if you enjoy this style of content or find it helpful, please let me know in the comments. Okay, let's get started! The first step to prepare our balsa wood for painting is sanding. Balsa wood comes in various shapes and thicknesses from sheets to strips and blocks. Since it's a delicate material and we want to preserve its natural texture and wood grains, it's essential to use very fine sandpaper. In the market, you can find different types of sandpaper, ranging from very smooth to rough. However, for preparing our bars of wood, it's recommended to use 1200 Crete sandpaper. Start with coarser grit. If your balsa wood has rough spots or visible imperfections, you can begin with a coarser grit sandpaper, around 180 to 220 grit to remove these initial imperfections. However, be gentle as balsa wood is very delicate. Always sand in the direction of the wood grain to avoid creating scratches or rough spots. Keep the sandpaper flat or wrap it around the sanding block to maintain an even surface. Next step is to sand with fine grit. Switch to 1200 grit sandpaper for all final sanding. Sand the entire surface of the balsa wood using gentle, even strokes. Periodically, stop and feel the wood surface to check for smoothness. Look for any remaining imperfections or rough patches. Removing the dust is the final step in preparing the balsa wood. After sanding, it is crucial to remove all the dust. You can use a soft brush or compressed air to blow away the dust particles. A clean surface is essential for the next step in your project. After we sand the balsa wood properly, it's time to prime it. Preparing balsa wood using PVA is a cost-effective and straightforward method to prepare the surface for painting or other finishes. These are the material that we need. PVA glue, water mixing container, paint brush, and a plastic sheet or cloth. Lay down a drop cloth or plastic sheet to protect your work area from any spills or drips. In a mixing container, combine PVA glue with water. The ratio you want to use typically ranges from 1-3 to 1-5 parts glue to water, depending on how thick you want the primer. A 1-3 ratio will give you a thicker primer while a 1-5 ratio will be more diluted and smoother. Remember that using a thicker primer may result in losing the wood texture, as it can fill the pores. If you want to preserve the wood texture, opt for a thinner primer. Stir well to ensure the mixture is uniform and consistent. Now, using a paintbrush, Apply an even coat of diluted PVA mixture onto the balsa wood surface. Ensure you cover the entire area you plan to paint. It is better to apply the primer in the direction of the wood grain for a smoother finish. And then 
allow it to dry completely, which may take several hours or more, depending on the thickness of the primer and humidity. Priming balsa wood with PVA glue not only seals the wood, but also provides smooth and even surface for your finishing touches. It is an effective and budget-friendly method for enhancing the appearance and durability of your balsa wood projects. To prevent warping when using PVA for priming, I can share two helpful tips with you. First, prime both sides. To maintain balanced moisture level throughout the balsa wood, consider priming both sides of the piece. This can help reduce the chances of warping due to uneven moisture distribution. Another way to prevent warping is to weighting or clamping. If you notice a slight warping during the priming process, you can try gently weighting or clamping the wood flats while it dries. Be careful not to apply too much pressure, as this could damage the delicate balsa wood. By following these tips and taking care during priming process, you can minimize the risk of warping and achieve a smooth, well-prepared surface for your balsa wood project. Once the primer is completely dry and you are satisfied with the surface, you can proceed with painting, staining or any other finishing technique you have in mind. Now that we prepared and primed our balsa wood, it's time to apply the paints. There are several paints you can use to color your balsa wood. In this video, I show you two most popular options and explain why they are favored. First is acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is available in various forms, ranging from tubes to pots. Whether you are painting miniatures, crafting models, or creating art on balsa wood, acrylic paints offer a wide range of advantages that make it a go-to medium for many artists and hobbyists. It is water-based, mixes well, and can be thinned. You can easily find it everywhere in a range of forms and prices. The difference between a cheap set of school acrylic and a more expensive artist range is mainly that the pigment is less finely ground in a cheaper paint. The paint may not mix or thin so well and the color could be dulled. Lay down a protective surface such as newspaper or plastic sheet to prevent paint from staining your work area. Squeeze your acrylic paint color onto a palette or disposable plate. You can mix colors to achieve the desired shades. If you're using it straight from the tube, make sure to thin it evenly, otherwise it may clog and fill up fine details, potentially causing you to lose the wood texture. As you can see, when I apply the color straight from the tube, the wood texture is completely lost. However, when I thin it with water, the color becomes more fluid and doesn't obscure the wood texture. This allows the wood texture stays beautiful and visible. This is me painting my miniature door, which I made last week. If you are interested in a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I made it, you can click the link at the top of your screen or in the description box below. Acrylic paint often requires multiple layers to achieve full coverage and depth of color. Be patient and build up the paint gradually. Allow each layer to dry before adding additional coats. Stains are another popular method for adding color and character to balsa wood. There are various types of stains available in the market, each offering unique advantages when it comes to enhancing the color and character of balsa wood. 
Here I'm painting another miniature door using an oil-based stain. You can follow the step-by-step -step tutorial on how I made this door by clicking the link at the top of your screen or in the description box below. Oil-based stains are ideal for intensifying the wood's natural grain patterns, providing depth and character. On the other hand, water-based stains are a cleaner and eco-friendly option, perfect for indoor model crafting. Stains penetrate the wood's pores, which can result in rich, deep colors. They are available in various shades, allowing you to achieve a wide range of wood tones from light to dark. Before staining balsa wood, it is essential to sand the surface to create a smooth, even surface. This helps the stain absorb uniformly. Apply the stain evenly using a brush, cloth or sponge. Allow it to penetrate for a few minutes and then wipe off any excess. The longer you leave the stain on, the darker the color will become. The final step is sealing and finishing. When it comes to sealing balsa wood, you have several options to choose from, each with its unique characteristics. One popular choice is using clear varnish, which offers excellent protection against moisture while enhancing the wood's natural beauty. To start, steer the varnish thoroughly before use. Apply a thin, even coat of varnish using a brush or applicator. Allow it to dry according to the manufacturer's instructions, which typically range from 1 to 4 hours, depending on humidity and temperature. Sand lightly between coats with fine grit sandpaper for a smoother finish if desired. Clear varnish is versatile and adaptable, available in various sheen levels, ranging from matte to satin to glossy. Additionally, it comes in different forms, including liquid varnish, which is ideal for brushing, and spray varnish, available in convenient aerosol cans for even application. These diverse options allow you to tailor your varnish choice to suit both your project's requirements and your preferred application method. Apply additional coats, allowing each to dry and sanding between coats if necessary. Water-based products are usually less likely to yellow over time. And that's the wrap for today's video. We've covered a lot here and I hope you had a good time watching and maybe picked up a few tips along the way. If you enjoyed this kind of content, please let me know by liking and commenting below. Your feedback helps shape the video I create. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, take care and keep crafting. Bye!